Hi guys, welcome back to Simply Spiritual. This is going to be a reading for December 2020 for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Venus rising, as well as cross watchers. This is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. Take what fits, leave the rest. And characters always can be vice versa. So this time we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be offer offering extended readings um, on Vimeo for purchase. Um, reading is going to be linked down below in the description. Just a reminder, if you do not resonate with this reading here on YouTube, do not buy the reading over on Vimeo as it's going to be a continuation of the reading that we're doing here. All right, what's going on with Leos? I recently found out that I'm a Leo moon, so I didn't know any. All I knew was my sun sign, but apparently I'm a Leo moon, so which I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, the only reason I say that is because I dated a Leo and that was the longest relationship I had and uh, it was quite chaotic. <laughs> That's the only reason I'm saying that. No offense to any Leos out there. Um, okay. Let's see. <clears throat> What's going on with Leo for December 2020? Uh-oh. We're the Page of Swords. Someone is watching. I don't know why I said that like that. <laughs> children in the hallway. Someone's watching. Someone's lurking. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> <coughs> Two of Pentacles. Someone's. Oh my god. <coughs> Someone's watching and weighing out their options, debating on whether possibly to come forward. We'll see. Anything else for Leo? of swords endings um okay anything else for leo four pentacles this person's watching this person is someone who is afraid to give their pentacle look how they're holding on to it right i don't know I don't know. Should I offer my pentacle? Should I? Should I? I'm watching. I'm creeping. Do I get my pentacle? Not sure. Not sure. Possibly to a fear of it ending. Fear of me being stabbed in the back. Fear of me being burned again. Why is the page of swords here? Two of Cups. Love here. Someone's watching and admiring. Um, they want to. They want to give you their cup of love, but they're debating it greatly. <laughs> Has the Two of Pentacles here? Mm -hmm. Person's very afraid of heartbreak here. Not sure. Do I want? Do I want to risk? Do I want to risk being heartbroken again? Do I want to risk this stabbed in the back ten of swords feeling again? Or do I just hold on to this pentacle and not have to worry about it? Which 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 choice do I make? I like this person. I'm interested. I'm not sure though. I'm not sure if I wanna risk that again. Why is the ten of swords here? Strength. Do I have the strength to potentially deal with being heartbroken and stabbed in the back again? Do I have the strength to endure the possibility of that again? But who says that's gonna happen, right? You can't think of it that way, of oh, I might get hurt again, I might get hurt again. Okay, well, what if you don't get hurt, hurt again? What if this is the this is the one? What if this is the end all be all, right? What if you you never have another breakup? What, what if this is it? Try to, if this is you, try to think of it that way, right? What if it does work out? Oh, I said four pentacles. Okay. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Nine of Pentacles, <laughs> right? So two single people um, also kind of, they're okay on their own as well as financially. And this person that's debating giving the Pentacle might have been burned financially in the past by someone. Um, they're like, I already have nine Pentacles. I was like, you know, I could give the 10th Pentacle and have the 10th Pentacle because that's the only thing missing about the Nine of Pentacles is the 10th Pentacle. Ten of Pentacles, which is everything, right? 
you know, that's also including the partner. This is only missing the partner, right? So do I give that pentacle? Do I give the final pentacle to my partner? I don't know. here for Leo. Undressing of the salad. This is a balance avoiding extremes, right? Balance. Not sure. Not sure. I want to make a balanced decision. I don't want to I want to make sure I'm not ignoring red flags or I want to make sure I'm making a good choice so I can avoid as much as possible getting hurt again. The fawn. Natural magic. I don't think that you will get hurt again, I don't think. It feels like, I don't know, let's keep looking. Cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. I'm gonna end up hurt like I did last time with whoever else. I'm gonna, you know, Get heart broken. I'm gonna lose my finances. I'm gonna whatever it may be. Outdated thinking, though. This is from someone from the past. Don't bring past hurt into new relationships. Replaying events, right? Replaying old events in your head, over in your head, conditioning outdated thinking. This is what happened to you in the past. Why do you think this person's gonna treat you as bad as the past person? They may not. Even if it doesn't work out, it might not end in such dramatic heartbreak as something in the past did, right? I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming, fun, flirting, wants to date. Someone is, I mean, we already said that. Someone's watching here and they want to give you this two of cups they want to date you they're interested but they have very outdated thinking of um oh i'm gonna end up hurt again i'm gonna end up in the same situation i was last time of faith. Do I take this leap of faith and love? Do I risk being hurt? Do I risk putting it all on the line? Do I risk exposing my feelings to this person? Do I tell them how I feel? Yes, you do. <laughs> Unexpected. I'd say they do. Because it's like, boom, wow. Didn't, you know, maybe I didn't, you didn't expect that person to have feelings for you. Or I didn't expect them to actually say it. Wow, what a miracle. Tornado. Hmm. And trophy. Victory. Recognition. Success. Achievement. Win. This works out for you. Putting your feelings on the line here. Taking that leap of faith. Works out for you this time. What was that? One moment. My singing bowl fell over um in this situation taking the leap of faith brings you to this victory here so yeah so to wrap this up someone's watching someone has a crush on you basically they want to give you their cup of love but they're trying to do it in a very balanced way but they're very too much playing out old situations in their head and going well oh so and so hurt me so and so took my money so and so did whatever right but you can't take that with you you have to get rid of that think of it fresh think of it brand new um but i mean in this particular situation here this works out for you here we have a victory with the sleep of faith and it feels very something's very unexpected about it because maybe um, you didn't expect this person to come out. You didn't know this person felt this way about you. Maybe you also felt this way and you're like, oh my god, wow. Um, or it's unexpected of 
I didn't expect this to actually work out in my favor, but it did, <laughs> right? Um, so yeah, don't be afraid to take a leap of faith, and uh, don't worry, I mean, you know, that's part of the risk of love is getting hurt, but you can't bring that into um, new relationships because the ultimate reward is better than the risk, basically. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, this is where we part ways. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up this video. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, you can follow me at It's Simply Sharon. And um, if you bought the extended, I'll see you over there.